Hi guys. How's it going? I'm going to try my uh, GoPro one more time and see if uh, the new card works. So uh, hopefully it will. I want to show you a few of the tools that I've redone. Um, this was in a previous video. Uh, it never came out. I couldn't get it to load up. But uh, these were really uh, super rusty. Uh, made in Germany. So I tried to save the... If I can turn that down there a little bit. Save where it was made from anyway and the name. Can barely read it on um, but the rest of them actually redone and uh they turned out really nice i uh, ran them in a my ultrasonic cleaner i got a little bit larger one i tried to show but i'll show in a later video again if this works out um these were the same uh they had real deep pitting on them so i decided since these were uh they're marshals i didn't have really have any much for a set of these i redone these ones uh turned out really nice and I want to show the steps on doing this. I had it, the steps on my pliers, but uh, like I said, I didn't, I couldn't get it to load either. Having a heck of a time. Uh, this is just a set of Utica that uh, they just had some pitting right here. So I'd, um, it's kind of like you can still see a little bit right there. But I just lightly done that. And they're in good enough shape after the, the cleaner that uh, I didn't do any more to them. Just to kind of show the steps. And then these guys here uh, are made by Crescent, but they're real heavy duty. Still in great shape. But like the pitting here, if a person wanted to get that out, it's just a matter of, uh, I use these Scotch-Brite belts on, I think it's 2x36 uh, belt sander. And uh, just go through the steps and then polish them on my uh, polishing wheels. And they turn out really good. It, you can make them like chrome, and they don't take a long time either. This is a Hinsdale box that I picked up. I showed it in a, the video as well, and uh, I put it in the ultrasonic cleaner, and it peeled the, makes the paint come off, the old paint. Um, it's got some dings in it still, but uh, I just painted it with that uh, hammered finish coat. Just for an old uh, box, I thought it was pretty cool. And then uh, we went to an auction, and I didn't pick up very much. I got a I got a set of drill bits, Dakota Sales, made in USA. Um, it's a full set. Hopefully they're good, we'll see. Uh, I don't have my a lot of USA made drill bits. But usually I just buy them and then just sharpen them on that drill doctor I have. And it does a pretty good job. Picked up a little set of ignition wrenches uh, made by Craftsman. I have a like metric and the standard wrenches that are this size too. It's missing one. Uh, these were like five bucks. And uh, this one here was a, from a previous video as well. It's a set of Eklund uh, new and package hex wrenches, metric and standard. I thought the package was pretty cool. Then I got a box of tools. Um, small tool box. It's a Husky. And uh, we got a, had a set of Bernard's pliers in it. see that these are pretty cool uh, they have cutters and then the jaw stay parallel in them they're just stamped um, I'll run those like in my evapo rust and it'll clean them up it's a surface rust that's on them they're still pretty nice shape same with these things here uh, lineman's cutter they're Uticas so it's just got surface rust stuff comes off nice I mean either wire brush or wire brush probably be just as easy on them Set of wood drill bits uh, looks like made in USA there's no name on them but I'm assuming they're probably Kleins or uh, maybe there is a... no it just says made in USA or Irwin's I mean but uh, yeah there's no name on them they look like the Irwin packages Husky half inch drive ratchet I haven't really I haven't went through this box at all so don't feel too bad. And uh, I had a little set of plum pliers here. These are really cool. I mean, I, I have the bigger set. These are 236s, I think, and uh, I have a 238 set. Don't come by these very often, the pliers. Especially the little guys like that. Uh, there's one snap on screwdriver so far that I've seen. It's kind of that oddball color. I haven't seen the cranberry type yet. Don't have any of those. P 
PNC 7 8 inch plum uh, inch and an eighth and an inch and a sixteenth really nice wrench still in good shape another plum and uh, another her brand here it's a uh, three eighths and seven sixteenths these were a heavy duty tool I mean that's a, they're thick Like here's their Forge in USA. It looks like a multiple set. These are a weird. Uh, I'm not sure what they're made out of. They shine up really nice. The coating on them do. I have a few of those styles. And it looks like you got probably a set of them in there. Kind of a rusty set of wire cutters. They're channel locks, so probably worth cleaning up. An old Craftsman wrench, 9 16 by half. It's got the long C in it. Got some good initials. So that, uh, you can get those out, but those deep ones, they take some grind and use the brown belt on those. Crescent, so it's, it, this one's worth doing that too. I, I don't like the initials in some of the tools, so if I get them out of something like that, I will. Husky half inch drive. This looks like an old craftsman, it is. It's an old craftsman with the long C. Half inch drive extension. And got a couple Husky uh, sockets here. I like these for filling in sets and stuff. Um, sometimes they're, they're missing quite a few. Set them out here. Like we're even close to a set there yet, but at least they match, I guess. And then uh, got some quarter-inch drive huskies. Looks like there's probably a probably a set of those in here. another brand of tool here uh, they're made in USA is all they say on them they're a the little hex drive oh they go to those uh, another set of uh, it's not I don't think there's one of them in here either I haven't left them in the tray. I'll show you guys though um it's a black hawk half inch at seven sixteenths it's kind of a nice wrench they're husky I hope the whole set of huskies there, that's kind of nice. Because I got the 3 8 set just done a while back. And these are, like I said, to another set. Those ones used to hang on the wall, I guess. That's what guys did with them. Another one of these, uh, just made in USA. I'd like to know who made those. I'm, I'd like, I'm going to have to do some checking on that. I don't, I don't know. Armstrong, 5 16 and a quarter. of a tap here. Looks like he bent it. Set up in a different pile there. Uh, close to that set there. This one here was bought at Senex for three bucks. Great neck. Inch and a sixteenth. Blackhawk, half inch drive, a little guy too, three eighths. Another husky. Might be close to that set there, might be. Yeah, it's pretty good. I didn't think they're all was that close. Might be missing one right in there. And uh, those are those hex drives. Those must have been pretty popular at one time. Seem to see a lot of them. Uh, do it yourself tap set. I'm sure the other one's probably in that wrench. Or, yeah, because there's a few taps in here too. Another wrench of some kind. It's a special on it. Armstrong. It's just numbered 5 16 and 5 16 So, I'm not really sure what the purpose of that was. A real thick end and a thin end. Kind 
and show you guys what's left in the top part of this box. Looks like just a, some drill bits. Like anything. And some taps. Which I'll get the USA ones out of there if I can and go from there on those. Okay, and in the bottom got a uh, it does have the rest of that industrial set for those little sockets. Looks like a little ignition set here. Feeler gauges and uh, I don't know if it's all going to be in here, but I have a key little set. No name on it. I right, got a breaker bar or a quick speed wrench here. Husky. And here's the rest of that. Um, this goes to the these little hex drive set. There's uh, they go up in the top up here, and then there's another um, Allen wrench. It'll go in here too with this set. They actually worked pretty good. It, 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 it was a good idea. PNC, nice wrench. PNC, thirteen sixteenths. see that PNC there, 13 16 trench, and then a half inch trench, really nice trenches. There's a chisel here, made in USA. Husky quarter inch breaker bar. A PNC wrench. PNC. Be cool, that's all there. Um, Husky quarter inch. Looks like about an 8 inch extension. Another tap piece there. 5 8 and 9 16 Bonnie. Allen wrench set. Pretty complete. Looks like it's missing a couple in there. So he's got one ground down to fit whatever he needed. It easy to fill that in though. This piece goes to the set here. A set of feeler gauges. see a name on them guys so I can't tell what that was and that's it in the box so uh, this box was actually 30 bucks I'm not really sure I, I think there's $30 worth there you never know sometimes you get the a lot of really cool stuff and uh, I'm sure it's worth 30 bucks I mean there's a lot of nice stuff there on um, the drill bits I did pay $40 for those and uh, they came with a few other things too some Jap or Taiwan drill bits and uh, a phone mount and a few other things were in the box but I bought them for those drill bits but yeah I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope this thing loads up and uh, please subscribe and have a great day